Hi, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Um, this is going to be for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs in um, Cancer. <laughs> I'm doing, um, this is going to be a reading for November 19th to 21st. This is going to be a weekend reading, especially with this full moon today, because this is a grounding a full moon that should have us asking ourselves how we can manifest our stability and what we need to do and what's coming next. So I'm just kind of taking a quick peek for you guys, seeing what's going on for the weekend and getting as many as I can out. I'm just doing the signs that I'm pretty much called to do. Um, and then I'm going to continue on next week with the weeklies, okay? First Oracle card I have out for you, um, Cancer is set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. So maybe in this time right now, um, in the next three days or so, or it could last into next week, um, you might be actually planning, actually focusing on your goal and what it is that you, what you want. This is good. With this full moon, we should be asking ourselves, what are our goals? What are our plans? How can we achieve these things? And what is what we really want? First card out is the three of pentacles. This could be actually like working with others or groups. Um, in the negative, it could be like a third party situation. But this is right now, I'm feeling like a group situation. Um, working with others neighbors, officials, this something that your intuition might be trying to tell you at this time. The high priestess, she's all knowing. Sometimes she's secretive. But she definitely knows things. Um, she's divinely connected to the divine. She's directly connected. She can be a tarot reader, a psychic. Um, she could have psychic ability. She could be an empath. Um, but she usually gets really good intuitive messages and she relies on her intuition and she knows things. There might be something that your intuition is trying to tell you at this time, Cancer. Something that's going to help you set your course. Thinking on or reminiscing over the past, this might be helping you also set your course. And then the two of wands, this is actually planning a journey, um, some sort of distance. This man has like a world or a globe in his hand. It's almost like he's looking out from the balcony of, I always like picture like an amazing resort or something. <laughs> But yeah, something that you're passionate about or you're moving with passion towards something that you want. It could be at a distance and you might be receiving some messages like a push, a shove, just to go, go. But there's something that you're missing. There's two opportunities that are still here that you're missing, but you're focused here on the negative, what you don't have. This might be, you might be focusing on what you don't have to make this happen, to go on this journey or this trip. You might be really thinking about what you don't have or what you've been through, some sort of disappointment that you've been through that kind of stops you from taking this journey. But this says to plan, have a plan and go in the right direction. So let's clarify these cards for you, Cancer. Because I feel like you are going to be going in the right direction. The end of November here. It's for the 19th through the 21st for Cancer, please. Clarify this three of pentacles, please. Tell, without giving me a thousand and one cards. Okay, if these cards are meant to come out, they'll come out again. There was like just 10 cards there. It's too much. I saw the devil card. We'll see if he comes out again. Three pentacles, please clarify three of pentacles for cancer. 
working with this group or others with the devil card could be a third party could be something toxic some sort of judgment coming are you ready to be judged is this person ready to be judged were these people judging you is this some sort of wrong third party situation that the universe is taking care of at this time some sort of heartbreak damn it cancer i was really hoping it wasn't <laughs> Cancer, and this is this is sleepless nights, anxiety, exhaustion, distress. This is so stressful. Can't sleep. I just hear somebody saying, "I can't sleep. I can't sleep." And this is a strength card. This is having the strength to endure or overcome a bad situation. So you do have the strength here. You are embodying this strength card to get through this situation at this time, Cancer. You might have found out recently that you've been in a third-party situation or someone's had someone is trying to put you in a third-party situation or someone is upset with you because you put them in a third party situation. I was really hoping that wasn't the case, but that devil card did fall earlier on that card. So I really feel like with these cards and that, there's just some sort of judgment coming in. The universe is like bringing in some sort of karma for the situation. And if we're gonna speak on it as if this was done to you, Cancer, and please flip the rules. If you're a cross watcher, this is in the other way. Switch the rules, guys. It's stressful. This might have recently happened or you're finding out about it now. You might have known about it. And I said before, she can be secretive. This could have been somebody that you were dealing with in this group situation that knew and is just now telling you. Someone from your past. Someone that you grew up with or some. There's deceit here. Damn it, cancer. Wow, so sorry. I just, I feel, I feel you in this read. I just feel, I feel like this is your face. I feel like you are just sad and pissed off. And maybe this other person is just grinning like this, this cat here and you're just pissed off. And maybe this is what you need to propel you forward into this new course, to be honest with you. What is the six of cups, please, for cancer? Please tell me about the Six of Cups. It's reminiscing on the past or this person from their past. It gets better, Cancer. It gets better. Yeah, some sort of defending, defending against this chaos or this chaotic situation, some sort of defense. Tell me about this two of wands. How does this all play in? Yes. Okay. So I feel like you've had to deal with this past situation. This situation that made you feel defensive. This situation that might have put you at a stop with something in your life. Okay, I feel like you might have even put aside something that you really, really wanted because there is some sort of wish here, some sort of wish granted, some sort of hope renewed. And I feel like this is coming to you now with this, this planning card, this planning to go this distance, planning to go the distance because this is what you wanted. This is what you wished for. And I feel like this other situation had distracted you from what you what you know you should be doing or what you know you need to be doing because 
it says set your course. I feel like you got off course either with this relationship or this group of people or whatever this situation was for you, fill in the blank, you know your life better than I do. I feel like it took you off course and you really had to go through the emotions, get through this situation, have the strength to conquer it, realize what has happened, this betrayal and whatnot. But I feel like this is something that now is coming to you because you needed to get back on course. This is the time. It's like divine timing. And you have the queen of cups here. She's a loving queen. She's um, maternal. She um, can sometimes be a motherly figure, but she leads from her heart. This might have been something that you wanted desperately from your heart, something that you wished for from your heart. It might actually be you traveling. You might have wanted to move and actually leave. Go on this adventure, set your course. It says know where you wish to go. Have a plan, the right direction. I feel like you're, pl you're, you're planning, you know where you wanna go, you know what direction you wanna take. It's, there's some distance here. Follow your heart, I'm just, <sighs> follow your heart. Cancer, because there's there's a wish being granted or fulfilled here. This is something that you wanted. What is this five of cups, please? This missed opportunity. That's why you have this at the end here. You you missed an opportunity, but the opportunity is still there. You see in the back here, the, these cups are still here. This opportunity is still here. So even though you went off course, Cancer, it's coming back around. The universe doesn't forget. So sometimes the timing um, is different than what we expect it to be. The universe doesn't forget what we asked for. Yeah, there's your... This is karma coming back to you. This is the, the balance of the scales. This is... Um, you can either be the giver in this situation and giving to others because you have enough to give, or you could be the receiver. Uh, you could have given a lot in the past and now it's coming back to you karmically, okay? This is a, a gift card, a what well, goes around comes around card, okay? And I feel like these two opportunities before you missed, but they're coming back around. You missed this before. <laughs> um, you were distracted, but you now are, you're planning, you're setting a course and you're getting this. This is, this is meant to be yours. Very exciting. What else? Oh, God. Yeah, because you have options and blessings. This could, this could have to do with um, an actual person. This is, this is you leaving and taking with you some hurt, but you know going to the other side is going to bring you more happiness. So you're going, it doesn't matter. You're going anyway, okay? And that's why I said before, I feel like there's distance here. I feel like you're actually going somewhere. Four of Wands, because it might lead to happiness, going to lead you to happiness, but it could lead you to like, happily ever after some sort of celebration, some sort of union with a, with a pair. Look, you have the Hierophant card here too. A union between two. You have choices and options now, okay? And this is going to bring you stability. Cancer. It's a beautiful read for the 19th through the 21st. I feel like this Full moon is helping you. Yeah. We talked about bringing in stability, helping you bring in a stable situation, helping you get right back where you, where you were supposed to go. Even though you went off course, you are going to be on your divine path where you need to be at this time because it's the right time. It's the right direction. 
I hope you guys enjoyed your reading, Cancer. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you back if you guys like tarot, um, oracle cards, and if you guys like um, artwork, I occasionally show my artwork too. If you guys want to see more of my artwork, it is on TikTok, and I'm going to start doing some more like live reads there. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to do like a regular schedule of doing some live tarot over there. So look me up there. It's the same uh, name, Tanya's Tea Time, but it's all in like one um, word, Tanya's Tea Time. And 